Hello everybody and welcome back to my next part of Dark Souls Rema well Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. Sorry. I was checking some things on Dark Souls uh, Remastered last time I was on. Well last time well between last time and this time and my brain just decided to have a little bit of a malfunction. Uh, don't worry, I'm fine, I'm fine. Good grief, those things sound awful. Oh, yeah, there's another one of you. Yeah, meet the Black Claw Assassins. I never got to mention it last time because I ran out of time. Those things pop up in certain areas. They are also a huge threat. Oh, right. I about forgot something. Whew, I am glad I was paying attention. So yeah, you see these pots? They are full of poison. So my advice? Spell cast to destroy. Do not let one get shattered on you or you will, by all accounts, get poisoned. Unless you have a very specific item. That poison's gonna hurt. A fragrant branch of yore. I might have to backtrack and use that in a minute, but right now, that's not the timing. First off, let's relight this. Because I think we're about to meet a good friend of mine. Oh, secret passage. I didn't know about this. Huh. Fire bombs. Nice, nice. What about this one? Large Titanite chunk. All right. Out of my way. There he is. The drunken heathen himself. Let's open this up first. And let's step out here. Nope, nothing out here. Okay. Who are you? I, Gavlan. Gavlan will, Gavlan deal. Gavlan wants soul. Many, many soul. <laughs> what you want. With Gavlan, you will, you deal. <laughs> Meet Gavlon. Gavlon will, Gavlon deal. And Gavlon is the only one you can sell crap to. Which means, when Gavlon wheels, Gavlon deals. And for me, Gavlon wheeling and dealing means I get some pretty good stuff. And by that I mean souls. Now if you're wondering why I'm also saving a bit of armor, there's a reason for that and I'll need it later. Of course, I'm not going to sell the Tesla door set because, duh, I might need armor. Well, I might need some more souls later. Or the Drangleic set. I won't need that. I definitely won't need that. And I don't need that anymore because I don't plan on dying anytime soon. Alright, Gavlon. Here's a monastery charm. That. Both of those. Don't really need those anymore. Or those. Or these. Yeah, if you haven't noticed, I'm planning on selling everything to Gavilon. Ooh, except those. Those are useful if you don't have anywhere to light your uh, torch. 
I'm actually not going to need those. Or any of these. I don't plan on invading anyone, so... And I'm going to need those later. So let's see what you have to sell. Increases poise. And some stuff for that. Gavlan will... Gavlan wants what with Gavlan? You. Yeah. Gavlan right now is going to be our best friend. However, he does move location. That's a problem. At least would be a problem if I didn't know where he moves to. Get rid of you, and you. And let's... I can't get to you. Now then. I'm going to drop this bridge real quick. And there's a guy up here that'll actually have an item we do need. Let's drop this bridge real quick. But the guy we need to talk to up here won't sell you anything unless you have a high enough intelligence. Well, looky here we do, because we're running a Hex Slinger build. Hmm, very well. I am Carillion. Carillion of the Fold. Surely you've heard the name. Now, now, do not be afraid. Let us explore the limits of sorcery. That's what we need. Shortening spell casting time. Because we don't need any of those. He can also in reinforce your uh, pyromancy. Lie dormant in this land. It is a fitting place to hone my sorceries. I suspect that I may even conjure up new spells here. Sorcery is yet a mystery, even to me. Let us meet. Young pupil. Now then. The Ring of Blades I no longer need, because I now have the clear blue stone, blue stone ring. That ring is of much importance. Because with that, it shortens the time for any of my spells to be cast. Not just my hexes, but any spells. So if you're going to run a spell blade, well, a spell class of any kind, pyromancer, etc., you need to buy that ring. That ring is your saving grace. Now let's light this torch. Is that the last torch or is there one more? I don't remember. I'm going to check real quick because I feel like there's one more somewhere. Actually first. Ah, there we go. Let's clear the boat off. for that very reason. Let's heal up. And watch the master. Cuts my casting time in half. Which means I can just spell sling these to get rid of enemies. Which makes my job a lot easier. Now then, I could go down, but I'm not going to yet. As I mentioned, there's some things we need to do here, and I can backtrack and get a couple extra items. 
as I stated, know your placing first before you rush in like an idiot. It's first light this. Because I feel like there's one torch I miss somewhere. Where that torch is, I don't know. I can't remember, is it up here? No, it's not here. Yes, it is up here. And with the last torch, if that is the last torch, a NPC should, well, a NPC invasion should spawn. That's, it should anyways, unless I miss something. Did I miss something? Hold on, let me try taking another lap. Must have missed something. I've got enough time on this torch, so I should be fine. Huh. I'm surprised if I did miss something, though. Usually I'm not one for missing stuff. Let's move that. Might have been over here because I was fighting the dogs. It's a good possibility. I mean... They did get in my way. Let's look around here. Head upstairs. Look around there. Nothing there. Head across up here. Ooh. Oh yeah, the cat's ring. I don't know why I was worried. I'm not going to take damage. Use that lock stone. Which saves me some trouble. Ooh, forgot about that. Hot dog. This whole area is lit up like a Christmas tree now. Ooh, did I get over here? I had to have. She's here. Unless I missed the one down here. No, I did not. Hmm. I've had to have missed one somewhere because I remember if you get all the ones here, there's a boss encounter. Well, not a boss encounter, a, uh, enemy that spawns. An NPC one nonetheless, but an enemy nonetheless. Is it in here? I just missed it? Ooh. Radiant Life Gem. A welcomed item, but not the item I'm looking for. Ooh, another one. A broadsword. Nothing up here. Let's drop down and head across. Nothing in there. Run through in here and look. Hmm. Nothing up here. Nothing here. I got that one. There is not one over here. Hmm. This is odd. Because there has to be one I missed. Drop down and look in here. Making sure that wasn't a secret wall. Some secret walls are blatant and others are actually pretty well hidden. Someone who probably died to poison, like that poor fool just did. Let's check in here where Goblin is. Might have missed one in here. No, not one in here. Check up here with Govlon. Not one here. And not one up here with Govlon. Odd. Hmm. I know I'm missing one.
Is it on the boat? No, it wouldn't be on the boat, would it? No, it couldn't be on the boat, but it might be on the docks. Or I might be missing one towards the beginning. Let me go check. I might be missing one towards the beginning, and if I am, that makes sense. So let's see, you got that one. None over here. Did I get all the ones on that dock piece? Let me check. Yeah, I've got all those. Any I missed up this way. Hmm. Didn't miss any there. Is it because I don't have one of these active? No. Or else it would would wouldn't have let well it would have let me activate it. Hmm. Has to be inside somewhere. So I'm going to turn off my torch for now and look around. We'll consider this an exploration episode. I'll probably get to a boss by the end of it, though, but I feel like I'm missing something. I got that one. Got my fragrant branch of yore. Right? I got one of those, right? Yes, I did. Sorry. My memory is not 100% all the time. There's nothing down here. So I know that's not it. Is it in one of these houses? Let me check. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. What about in here? Huh. Nothing there either. Nothing near the water. Or in the water. It's gotta be somewhere I'm not looking or I have not looked. Let's get these out of the way. Ah, uh, the ray fear is about to break crap. I need repair powder bad. Is there anything in here I missed? <clears throat> it's unlikely, but wouldn't hurt to check. I hate the fact that my weapon's about to break, though. Because there are only two ways to repair it, and I'm out of repair powder. Hmm. Let's see. I know Gavlon has nothing... I don't think. Oh, great. Gotta love that cat ring. It does so many favors. Hmm. Anything over this way I missed? No, this is the back of the way I came. Hmm. Check in here again. Nothing in this room. I didn't... I don't think I remember checking in here. Let me check. Sorry. Again, making sure there's no secret passages I'm missing. Or something of importance I'm missing. Try detour. Smash that. I feel like I'm either being played for a fool, or I'm legit missing something. There's no way up there. Torch required ahead. Yeah, I know. I used it. I, again, I feel like there's one missing some, somewhere. It has to be. Let's look from up here. 
That's where the Gavlon thing is. But that's not what I need. It's not in here. I don't think. Activate this because I can. And it's not up here. Hmm. No secret passages. I have the cat's ring, so I'm not in danger of jumping. Make sure I didn't pass it. Sometimes in these dark crevices is where you need to look the hardest. So nothing there. Nothing up here. I got that one. Nothing there. There's not one up here. Safe zone ahead. I see all the dead bodies and uh... Yeah, no, I don't think it's a safe zone. Drop here. Try fire. There's got to be one I'm missing. Because again, I know there's an enemy that spawns afterwards. I dropped him off a cliff. There's not one in that corner. There's these two, which I murked. Let me try busting these real quick. Oh! Soldier's Ring. Fading Soul. Huh. Didn't know that was in here. Interesting. But not what I was looking for. Because if it was, there would be a torch in there. Let's see here. I found this one. There's no torch lighting thing here. Let's try the next floor. Here, Gavlon up there chugging his uh, mead. Let me try dropping down to this one and looking around here. That's where that item is. Or was before I picked it up. So it's not there. There's got to be one I'm missing. Gotta be in plain sight or something. Something so obvious it's easy to miss. Phantom required ahead. Uh, yes and no. I wouldn't say that ball that is a required ally. However, that ally does help. I am so lost. I have never had this much issue finding all the torches.
but at this point, I should take on the boss. If I need to, I can backtrack and then find the final torch. It's not like I have to find them all at once, I just have to light them all. So maybe for now I'll just stick with what I got. Bradley and Lucatiel. Both very, very par potent partners to have. Is it in here? No, the torch is not in here. But let's fight the boss. My weapon broke. Which means I am no longer of any use to my team. I also have to keep Lucatiel above half health. Continue their quest lines, which is something they got rid of in Dark Souls 3, Hallelujah, is you actually have to keep the people you summon for these fights above half health. Or else it completely ends it. The Soul of the Flexile Century. Which I'm gonna crack now. Now that gives me Lucatiel. This also gives you the Pyromancy Flame. Part B of the location. Now, you know I say it said Part B. Because this is one of the two areas you can enter. The issue being here is... Actually, no, I can fix that. Sorry, cold chill. But heading on up. For two reasons. Let's first head up this way. In the Lost Bastille. I know two of these doors are open. For two different reasons. First one's open. Giving you common fruit. Meh, not really useful. Is there three actually open? I can't remember. I know the second one is this one. For a bonfire. 
Nope, yep, there's only three open. But I'm going to backtrack for using that bonfire. Why? Simple. Let's send this one down. And I think it's here I need to go. Yep, there it is. Repair powder. I think this may work. Let me check. It does not. Crap. At least these guys don't respawn. Back up we go. Because we're now going for our second piece of Twinkling Titanite. Let's open that up. Take a detour back here. Up oh, there it is. Equipped that to my second slot. No, not that. That. Ah, there we go. Now let's go up here, take a, not that one, this one, and the rest of the bonfire. Heading back to Majula. <laughs> For two reasons. One, I need to patch my stuff up, and two, I got souls to spend. Repair, yes. Reinforce. I guess it's not a bad idea to make sure my shield can actually block more crap. I'll be around. But for now. Bearer of seeks seek lest this lap. I'm at least going to go up to 15, 10, much more health, much more uh, uh, stamina. Now then, let's head the other direction, travel to the Cardinal Tower. I think this is another case of I have to light all the torches in this area. So, let's do that real quick. Light torch. And yeet. For an almost no damage. Not going down there, though I think I actually have a better chance of killing them now. that one make sure there's not another one this way there's not okay let's head back pop one radiant life gem on my way back as well I can't remember but I think if lighting all the torches in this little uh, section gives you a bonus but I can't remember There. 
Oh yeah, the soldier's key allows me to come over here too. Is this the ring I think it is? Ring of Restoration? That's one of the good rings. Now what does the Ring of Restoration do? Well... Oh yeah, that's the Royal Soldier's Ring. But no. The Ring of Restoration gradually restores my health. It ensure a slow healing item. There's also here. Amber herbs. The Grand Lance. You know what? Let's get rid of you real quick. some souls. I do also have to backtrack and do something else here in a second, but for now, let's. Oop. Need to light one of my. I need to go back and light my torch. Ha <laughs> ha. That pulled is stupid. But with one extra torch, that gives me much more time. Eight minutes per torch, if I remember correctly. Which means, if I'm doing my math correctly. I thought there was supposed to be something that happens. Let me try heading down the elevator. Actually, before I head down the elevator, let's deal with Big Bad and Ugly. Oops. <laughs> Wrong weapon. Actually, no, right weapon. Let me just encase it in darkness to add more damage. Come on, Ugly. Oh! I may have miscalculated how big his swing range is. Now, let's head down. With a torch. Going down. Ah, one shot. Gotta love it. It's locked. Okay. Wait, why can't I still summon you? There's no boss in here. Uh, there might be a torch in here. Let me look. No, there's not. Okay. Hmm. Odd. I thought there'd be a torch or something. Well, not a torch thing. A uh, thing in here. Also, do not tr try to go down the elevator shaft. Even with the silver cat ring, that is a guaranteed death. You're just an idiot if you try to jump. I could have swore there was something else. Did I miss something, or...? Get rid of you two. looking for another torch to light because maybe I just missed one
Hmm. Nothing yet. Whoops. I forgot that's also a fire weapon. A chaos weapon is also a fire weapon, which means... Boom. Big boom at that. Yeah, those things will also be important later. Those trees. But that'll be for another time. Another place. And another series leap of faith. Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. 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 <coughs> Leap down there. Ah, there's one. Nothing in there. Let's light the torch and try this again. Also, you know what? While I'm thinking about it and I'm not really slinging spells, let's bring the Tesla door again. The Tesla door gear. I look like crap, but it does have a purpose. Which means more souls. Silver Cat's Ring, which allows me to drop down here with no issues. You know what? Let's do this. Rude. Drop back. Gotcha. Got you too. Now, while I'm thinking about it, first off. Oh, yeah. Much better. Second off. Added bonus. And third off. The reason the flame butterfly is so useful. Let's me auto light the torch without having to have a fire source. Which, in my case, is not really necessary, but it's nice. I knew there was another torch I missed. Clear those out. Climb back up. Okay, just a dead body. It looked like they were flopping for a minute. Now to go see if there's one I missed. Ow. Rude, but I deserved it. Let's climb up here. Let's get rid of you real quick. Hmm. 
life gem. Get rid of you. Roll down here and deal with this problem, child. And all this for some extra souls. <sighs> Much better. Heal up all the way. Don't think there's any down there, so I might have to backtrack a little on some. But if I've got them all, that also that means that when I come back here... Oh! Rude. I was talking to my audience. That right here, a NPC should spawn. If I got all of them. I must be missing one or something. Oh, wait. Nope. I feel like there's one missing. That shouldn't be the case. I mean, I feel like I've lit all of them. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. I'll take that life gem. Thank you. Now let's get rid of you. Another sword. Oh, excuse me. Just eight. Get rid of those two. Drop down here. Armor ahead. Yeah, I've already got it. Got you. Yeah, I'm not hollow. Huh. Wonder what I'm missing. Other than the hilarious physics of this game never wanting to work right. But I know you're supposed to light all the torches. Unless I just absolutely missed one. I've got all of them. Alluring skull. Not a bad item, but not what I'm looking for either. <clears throat> Maybe there's some over here I missed. Sorry folks if this episode seems just a little bit underwhelming. This is kind of more of an exploration episode of me trying to find everything. Because I know certain items will be important. I mean, if it counts for anything, you did technically get a boss, so... It's not like you didn't get anything. Even if that boss was kind of underwhelming. I still gave you a boss. Just not 
a great boss. Let's coat that. And then head on up. Oh, whoops. That was an accident. been my best one but let's get rid of you real quick ow oh yeah criticals won't damage your weapon just a heads up so if you want to keep your weapon from breaking so easily criticals are a good option so far. At least that I know of. Let me try going back here and backtracking a little. This has not been my strongest episode, but hey. Work with what you got. For me, what I've got is some really powerful spells I can sling at Mach 11. Also, the reason I had the cat's ring is right here. There is a reason I need to go here. Ooh, gotcha. My spells may not be in peak performance, but I wouldn't say they're bad either. Slap this guy with two of those. And let's head back up and get that one I missed. Human effigy, there we go. Never a bad idea to get a couple extra of those. Beam with spells. Beam with two spells. Drop down here. Eat some of that. Never a bad idea to have some extra soul farming in you. Or in my case, some extra soul killing. Ah, oh, I thought I got rid of you. Hold on. There we go. Foot soldier shield. Not a good item, but not a bad one either. And three life gems. An item I'm going to happily no, that, that. Ah, that's why my XP gain was not going as well. I had the wrong chest piece on. Dip into here. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. That's not gonna work, so let me grab that and get the crap out. Yeah, those are salamanders. They hurt. Like, a lot. Their fire damage is just as bad as, well, everything else about them. get to the bonfire, then I should be able to call it an episode. Well, let me rest at it. Head back to Majula for now. I'll come back here and do the rest next episode. Let's level up. And dump two into adaptability. I hate to, but it allows me to speed up my dodge rolls. Oh, wait, I can actually level up once more. Awesome. Ah, there we go. There. Less. And you know what? Let's dump one more into adaptability. Yeah, you see, my dodge rolls are now faster. You? Buy five more of those. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. And until next time, rest easy, adventurers.